today I'm going to build a market maker that makes money regardless of price. Price goes up, we win. Price goes down, we win. Price goes sideways, we win. We like market makers. We do. So matter of fact, we've been working on this for quite a while now. And as you saw, this has been running live. We're in a position right now. Uh, it started about yesterday here. So I think it's like four for five right now. So it's only gotten five trades in. Small, small wins, 0 0.89, 0 0.89, 0 0.54 loss, 0 0.89, uh, 0 0.9. Uh, these are just testing trades down here. So, you know, it's, I'm not saying it's perfect yet. Of course, I'm still working on it, but four for five is pretty good. Uh, by the way, if you want all this code, all the code for all my algorithms, um, I update all the time and step-by-step -step videos on exactly how to be the best algo trader you could ever possibly be. I put together a 100% risk-free bootcamp so you can just pop in there, join, uh, consume everything, and then, hey, if you hate it, you get your money back. I made it super cheap as well. So there's a link for that uh, below. And like I mentioned, it's pretty much risk-free. So um, let's keep building. If you appreciate me building this all on YouTube for free, please do tap that like button. But um, essentially right now, what we're working on is we're trying to stack the sides. So you can see here, we entered right here, but I would have rather entered like down here. It's just like, if you look at this range for the last like six hours, I'm trying to get in the bottom of the ranges. This got me in kind of in the middle of the range, in my opinion. I know it's not the middle of the range because we have a thing in our bot that won't trade the literal middle of the range, but I think the entry could have been better. Could have been like down here a little bit or and down here or whatever i would rather have less trades with better entries so i'm gonna go ahead and build something that helps me stack the sides and we're at this part where we've already split up the orders to 20 percent 40 percent 40 percent so it's going to be the first order is going to be 20 percent of what we want then the second order is going to be 40 percent and so on uh, now we need to think of how to create the bids so you can see the bids and the asks. I have asked one, two, and three. They haven't been created yet. And we're gonna create those right now. So let's go ahead and figure out, okay, this is where the bid ask is. So we get the ask and the bid right here. So we can just say ask, let's say, new bids, bids, and ask, like above. And let's see, did I write some notes here? Put entries 0.1% lower. Now, I think that might be a little, yeah, 0.1% is good. 0.1%, I'm gonna do that. Well, actually, that's not 0.1%, I'm sorry, is it? Yeah, it's 0.1%. I wanna put 0 0.09. So let's do 0 0.09 under bid. And I know that's for ask as well. And then what would get us to the bottom? I know I'm overfitting this just to this scenario, but that's okay for now. 0.2 and 0.3. So 0 0.09, 0 0.2, and 0.3. Those are gonna be our three bids and asks. So let's go ahead and say bid one a equals bid times how do we do that 0 0.1 percent 0 0.99 no 991 right because that would be 0 0.09 percent 0 0.09 percent is really 0 0.009 right 0 0.09 this would be 0 0.09 percent so 0 0.009 and then we have to just do one minus one minus point zero 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 nine equals point nine nine. I missed one. Is that right? This would be ninety nine percent, ninety nine point nine one percent. I'm pretty sure that's right. Let's see an example like twenty one two zero eight. Twenty one two zero eight multiplied by point. 9991 equals 21888. Put it right here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so bid one is that. And then bid two equals bid times 
what do we say? We want 0.2%. I know I totally butchered this, but 0.2%. So 0.2% is really 0 0.002, right? Because 0.1, yep. And then 0 0.002. As you can see, I'm not like amazing at math. And I think a lot of people are scared of algo trading because they think they need to be great at math. But I figured it out. So this would be 0 0.998. And then this one would be 0 0.997. Equals bid times 0 0.997. Okay, so bid one, bid two, and three. As you can see here, we would create three buy orders. Bid one, bid two, and bid three. Now we want to do the same, but the opposite. That makes no sense, but ask one equals <laughs> ask times um, 1.0009, right? I think that's right. And then ask two equals ask, oh, I forgot to pour some coffee. Ooh, it's at the perfect temperature. I apologize, but this is really what I do every day. So the good thing is, is you get the authentic, like, step by step exactly how I think about this stuff and if that's helpful then just let me know in the comment section if it's not helpful then like you know there's not many other algo traders that will show you this stuff so uh, <laughs> I'm here I'm here for you if, you if you do have any questions though ask one ask two and ask three okay so I think this is good now so now instead of making one buy order and let's just test it out Let's go ahead and let's get out of this position. I, I don't like doing this, but whatever. The reason I'm getting out of this position is because I want to test it. So it messed up my results, probably whatever. I don't care. It's like two cents. I lost two cents. So if you appreciate me uh, losing two cents here on YouTube, Please do tap that like button. You can see in the bottom right, we just hit a profit target of 10, or our target's 9%, but it hit 10.8 of LRC. I think we also just hit our profit target on SLP. I don't know either of those. So that's the cool thing about algo trading is you don't really need to know the uh, symbols because your algo does all the work. So what I want to do now is I want to test this because essentially we went from having one order to three orders. Now, what's going to happen here? We'll see. It might have a couple of bugs because we haven't set things up for, oh, actually I need to fix this. We're going to say bid one, bid one here and ask one. I'm trying to think of where this is going to mess things up because Essentially, before it was three orders, or before it was one order, right? So I'm a little worried it's gonna try to cancel some of the orders, but we'll let it run and we'll debug this together. But while it's waiting, it takes about 15 seconds to run. I just wanted to tell you that that boot camp that I built, I put my heart and soul into, and I would have paid anything. I would have done anything to have the information that I give out in that boot camp when I was getting started. Finding stuff on algo training is super hard. So there's a link for that below and like I said, it's risk-free So you can see that we entered a long I mean a short this time That's super interesting because literally we were in a long before I, I semi like this though. I semi like it So just made a stop loss and it's just gonna keep doing this until it fills I believe but my question now is when it fills, are these other orders gonna be canceled? So I kinda of wanna watch it for a while, but this is looking good. I, you know, mm, so the bot is programmed to buy outside of the middle of the range. It's looking at a longer range than typical. I might spread these out a little more, honestly. And we might be able to do this a little bit more sophisticatedly too. Like this looks good to me, but it could be a little better. Um, let's do this. Let's say five, let's do three. And let's do five and let's do 
seven. So it's just going to spread them out a little bit more. See what happens. Because in my opinion, I would rather have less trades than more trades. Femex used to pay us a fee when, or pay us to be market makers, or to make be makers instead of takers, but now they don't. So like, okay, well, <laughs> I'm I'm not as excited to spend money on your platform because they used to pay us every time we traded, but now it's like, what's the difference between you and another platform? Nothing, nada. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They, it's still a good platform. Still a good platform. What else can we do here? Exit percentage, 0 0.002. So that's why my my closed positions are all like pretty small, 0 0.89%. I think we could improve our exit. I'm gonna put that on the list to do. We might not do it right now. I wanna see that one of these fill though. Um, exit based on ATR or something. Um, I think for now what I wanna do is just make the exit percentage a little bit bigger, 0.4. And I'll say on 820, moved from 0.02 or zero zero two to 0.004 can't type and I think I'm just gonna let this run now and see how it does and then maybe if you want another uh, if you want to check in on this and see how it went I can definitely make a follow-up video but like I mentioned I put all of this code inside of Al the algo bootcamp below and I show you everything I know about algo trading. So I just make it step by step. Like what would I would have wanted to learn from the start. And I would have wanted somebody to show me everything from creating new algorithms to back tests. Show me a ton of examples of algos that are working. Show me some that don't work. Tell me why they don't work. And all of that stuff, I just pretty much was trying to teach a younger me. Not necessarily younger, but like earlier, right? Like. So if I had to teach one of my kids how to algo trade, that's what I did in the boot camp. So, and then I made it risk free because I, I know it's like I'm a random dude on YouTube, right? So I want to make sure that you're comfortable joining that boot camp. And so what I did is like, hey, at any moment, you can dive into the boot camp, you know, pay whatever the small fee is, and then dive in and be like, nope, don't want it. Watch all the videos, don't want it. And then you can just get your money back. So I just want to make it risk free. Um, you get all the code and all that good stuff. So uh, the code for this is in there. I'm going to let this run for a couple days. And if I get a bunch of comments below saying that you want to see the next part of this, I think in the next part, what we're going to do is we're going to build, build an exit, an exit based on ATR because right now or, or some other metric or, or some dynamic metric because we could we can just optimize right because essentially like what if we get in a position here and it's just like it broke the low and we could have just kept hold kept holding it and holding it and holding it so you know while i'm not quite sure how most market makers are this would be an interesting play in my opinion because it will Oh, I should, I should make this sleep a little bit. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. And the reason being is because I don't think we need to just keep putting in those orders. Let's do um, print submitted three buys by orders to open sleeping. How many minutes does it say? Five minutes? I think that's safe. Time dot sleep, sleep, 600. And then we're gonna do the same thing down here. And the reason is because I'm not on the bid anymore or the bid and the ask. So I'm gonna, I'm actually put that here. Uh, 820, 
since I'm not on the bid ask anymore, I sleep. Let's go ahead and copy this over. Paste it in there. And I'll say this is three sell orders. Okay, I think that should be good now. So we're gonna sleep 600 seconds, which is actually 10 minutes. So again, math is not my specialty, but don't let that hold you back, you know? Um, okay, let's run this one more time. And yeah, I'm gonna put all this code inside the bootcamp. If you want, want to see a next part to this, there's so much stuff I'm gonna keep building. I'm gonna, you know, I, I build on this market maker every single day because I want it to be super duper profitable. You can see that it's doing solid. Uh, it went four for five yesterday and um, I would like it to do even better. So I'm just gonna keep building and that's what I do. I'm a competitor and I won't stop because nobody can stop me. I have time. And if you have time, you can do this as well. I didn't know how to code prior, and now I know how to code. So I, I put everything inside the bootcamp, learn absolutely everything about algo trading. There's a link for that below, but I'll see you in the next video or inside the bootcamp.